Hi guys, Peter Finch here and you join us at the beautiful Alzora Golf Resort and we find ourselves with a 50 yard pitch. So this is a description and explanation of exactly how you can approach this shot from this short distance. Now I've got my 60 degree lob wedge here and if you want to vary the different flights then you can use lower loss but I've got my lob wedge, my 60 degree to play this particular type of shot. Now I've got quite a ravine to go over, I'm onto the green and the pin is set back a little bit onto the actual surface so I need to pitch it about I would say 10 yards onto the green, hopefully find the ridge in the middle and then let it roll up. Now for the actual technique from this type of lie, so it's sitting quite well, I know that my contact should be assured if my technique is on point. I don't need to make any special allowances for the actual lie. So what I'm gonna do first of all is pick my target line. So my target line, there's no real break on this green, so I wanna be pitching it on line with the flag. So I'm gonna approach from behind pick out a line which sits from my ball to the pin and a point on the surface for which I wanna land the ball. I'm gonna get my club face lined up to that point just before the ball so I know it's lined up with my point on the green. Now when my club face is set, I'm just gonna adjust my lower body so my feet and my hips are slightly open to the target. This presets them in an impact position because on a short shot like this, you don't have as much time to actually rotate the hips through the ball. Now the same is said for actual weight distribution. So I'm also gonna place about 65% of that onto my front foot. This should allow my club to bottom out after the ball so I shouldn't catch the ground actually before the ball on the shot. My ball position for this particular shot, I'm gonna play just back of center. If I wanted to vary the flight a little bit more, hit it lower, I could move it further back. But for this shot, it's in the middle of my stance. So my feet are open, my hips are open. I'm keeping my shoulders square, however, to the line. So I'm not allowing those to be creeping open. Technique wise, this distance is very much dependent on swing length. So for a 50 yard shot, I'm only gonna be getting my left arm to what's known as the nine o'clock position, or for when it's pretty much parallel with the ground. That should give me plenty of actual momentum within the swing to build up enough club head speed to get it down towards the target. Now, apart from that, this is all about commitment, keeping the rhythm smooth so that club can bottom out in its arc just after the ball. And if it's good, the bounce on the club should do its work. I shouldn't be digging in too deep and it should hopefully finish somewhere near the pin and not in the mangrove. That'll be a bit of a negative at this time in the morning. So getting set up, got that target line, weight forward, leaning those hands ahead, keeping the body nice and steady, swing back to that nine o'clock position. Not bad. 